Welcome along guys, welcome back to the garage. It's time for episode four of the ultimate SMCR rebuild. Rebuild or build series, whatever, whatever. In this episode today, we're talking about hot air. No, not about me or Mavis. I'm talking welcome about fatties. exhaust systems. Today, we're going to be fitting the gorgeous Tecmo titanium header onto the bike and the titanium back box as well. So today we're all gonna be about exhaust. We're also gonna do a sound test at the end of this. If you remember and cast your minds back, I did have the Streetline Akropovich on this bike. That's now been sold. <laughs> I've got rid of that. Um, this is the new exhaust. So I've got some sound tests with the Akropovich on. I've not got any sound tests with the standard system on, but it's not hugely different. So today, we're all about pipes, exhaust, and making lots of noise. <laughs> My favourite. The question we have to ask ourselves, baffle in or baffle out? I think baffle out. We'll see on the noise tests. Mavis, roll the intro. So that goes into there, like that. And then that goes on there, like that. That then goes on there, like that. It's a bit of a jigsaw, this exhaust. I have to say, I've had to study the instructions for about 15 minutes to actually try and work out how this thing fits together at this end, especially. Nothing wrong with, this is how the standard exhaust goes together. Nothing to do with the Tecmo stuff, but it's taken me a little bit of figuring out. I could save you some time. Let's start the video. Let me start stripping. I've also got a lithium battery to fit as well. So I wasn't gonna do this. I wasn't gonna start weighing everything and making this all about weight saving, but as I've got titanium stuff going on, I may as well keep a record and see how much weight I lose from the bike, not personally, I've put a shit ton on, but from the bike as part of this rebuild. Putting these bits on, what do you reckon? At the end of 10 kilos shed off the bike by the time I'm finished? Place your bets. Before we put the sexy stuff on, let's take off the standard headers, weigh everything, and then see how much weight we're saving before we get onto the exciting bit and fitting the new bling. <laughs> okay, there is the standard stainless steel headers. Now, most of the restrictions on the exhaust are in the back box on the 690. This, there's no cat in this front piece. It's more or less a straight through piece of pipe here. With the Tecmo one, it's got a slight expansion chamber bit here, which helps to add a bit of power, but mainly it's for the weight saving. Two bolts to take off, a bracket at the back, and then I think that's it. Second one's a bit more tricky and requires a spanier. Also mine has the Kropovich carbon fibre piece, so I'll take that off and I'll reuse that on the uh, on the Tecmo. Okay, before we go any further, let's have a little weigh. Mm, these scales may not be good enough for this, so I may need to get better scales. I think basically these small parts are just too light for my sort of heavyweight bathroom scales. So I brought in the new kitchen scales. <laughs> Bring on the baking. So this is my spreadsheet where I have all of my measurements recorded. People are asking how much did the SAS kit, so all, this, all the kit I took off for the SAS kit removal, that all came to 600 grams by the way, for those which asked. And it was about 20 grams for the plate, for the bits which went onto the bike. So quite just over half a kilo of saving with the SAS kit. And this is my other list of all the other stuff I'm gonna be swapping. There's more stuff to add to this, but this is all I had so far. So let's get the header stuff in there. Let's measure it again. I'm not happy with my original measurements were correct. So we're gonna use the bathrooms, the kitchen scales, not the bathroom scales. Does Mrs. Chops know you've got those scales? One Tecmo front header piece. Get my bonts in the way. 720 grams for the front titanium piece. The rear section. Rear stay. The rear section weighs 440 grams. That comes to one kilo, 160 grams. One kilo, 160. Light as a feather. 
Oh, bollocks. Standard header comes to 2.6 kilos, just over, just over 2.6 kilos for the standard header, including the lander sensor. 2.6. Uh, wait, but it's going to be heavy. It's going to. Uh, it's, it's gone round the clock. Too heavy for these scales. The standard exhaust, which means it's over four kilos. I have to use the other scales. Four point two kilos. So the standard system, standard headers, standard back box comes to 6.8 kilos in total. The Arrow and the Tecmo comes to 3.38 kilos. Mavis, what's 6.8 minus 3.38? Sure, the answer is 3.42. Thanks Mavis. 3.42 kilos saved swapping between the standard system and the Arrow Stroke Tecmo. So pretty good saving. Also, I'm gonna probably take the baffle out of the Arrow. It's got the baffle in the moment. That's probably a steel baffle. We'll get that out. We may save another 200 grams. <laughs> we'll work it out at the end. But there we go. There's your weight saving, swapping from stainless steel to titanium and removing the cat, of course. The cat's out the bag. No, it's not. It's out the exhaust. That is one joke. Instructionos, look at these for a set of instructions. It's almost like a, a brochure, full color glossy instruction manual. I must say, I am rather impressed with this Tecmo kit. Okay, it may not be the cheapest stuff on the market, but it's certainly got the quality. Ooh. First thing to take note of, the lower bolt has a spacer. Only the lower one, that's got to remain. The secret is for this first stage, just leave everything pretty loose. Make sure it's seated, so don't over tighten them. Leave it a little bit loose so you can move things around a little bit. Ooh, that's looking sexy already. Next up, fit the rear section. Spring, fit it around the back. There we go. Once these get some heat through them, this will go all that beautiful blue and rainbow colours as this titanium heats up. Can't wait to get some colour into this. They look fantastic. Top tip here, because this bracket doesn't sit very flush, get a pair of mole grips to squeeze it together. It's still pretty tight but I think it's the only way you're gonna get that on. <laughs> it's done its job now, it's done its job now. So next up, the fitting of the back box. Slide over the clip, then slide over this. This is basically the kit which comes with the Tecmo header so you can connect it to a standard, um, the standard end can. Then I've got the kit which comes with the arrow to connect it to the standard exhaust. So it's a different setup of brackets here. It would be easy if we were just going for the whole Tecmo system, you know, rather than try and mix and match. But this will take it to a, a standard fit. So this will fit at a standard exhaust. So if you're buying an NCAM which fits the standard header, then this is the piece you need. Now this next piece is what took me ages to work out because that end goes into the uh, into the exhaust and that goes on there and it's like, well, how can that sit together nicely? Even if I don't have the, the little gasket, that's, you know, how's that ever gonna sit nicely like that? But you need to use the standard mounting loopy thing. I think that's the official term. So if you put that over there, like that, and then that goes there, and then this sort of goes around both of them like that, and then bolts together. So that slides in there. That goes around here, like so. Give it a nip. So that is everything loosely fitted. I 
just, it's, I tell you, it's a lot harder than I thought. I've, I've been an hour and a half doing this. You'd think just a single bite with a simple exhaust would be easy. It's taken it, it's quite difficult. I want to get it right. That's the important thing. So I'm going to tighten things up at the header end, so onto the cylinder, and then work my, then get the front piece secure and then get the, the end can at the right angle and all of that. Woof! Let's tighten him down. Oh, I need a break. I need a, I need a cuppa. Mavis, make me a cuppa. Make yourself useful. That's looking very sexy. Just making sure it's quite tight here, but just making sure nothing touches around the back anywhere. It's not rested on anything. It's all clear. Beautiful. There's also a couple of bracket things to put on here for the for the exhaust guard. Actually, let's put those on now. There's these brackets to go round to mount the exhaust guard. Front heat shield mounting on. I think maybe the rear one, you can retain that one. I've lined it up with that one, but I really need the side panel because this clips into the side panel. So until I've got the side panel, I can't get the final um, you know, mounting of that. So we'll leave that for now. We can adjust that if necessary. For the back box, we've got a spring to fit from this piece to here to sort of hold that bit slotted into the arrow. So let's do that. Oh, this is tight. Oh, it's tight that is. Oh, bike's bloody moving. Oh, you bugger. Oh, stop it. Stood the bike all the way forward now. So it's got nowhere to hide. Ah, oh, there we go. Some tension on that. I maybe want to get the end can at the right angle now and then tighten everything down. One more quick thing to mention before you start the bike you need to get your fingerprints off of the exhaust because any fingerprints will when it heats up it will make it will mark it any grease left from your fingers will leave a, leave a spot so use some alcohol if you've got some pure alcohol i don't mean the leftover from christmas spray it on a bit of rag and just wipe it all down get it all clean before you start it so let's do that now then i'm going to go outside and fire her up <laughs> i'm quite excited Ooh. Give it a wipe. there we go sounds beautiful first of all but I was quite surprised that the baffle didn't really make much difference and look how restrictive it is it's not even open at the end it's just got these little holes only knocked about a DB off the volume even when I was revving it yeah I wasn't revving it very hard because the bike was cold but surprisingly not much difference so I'll run it without the baffle but when I get this bike tuned at Dynajet I may get a map done with the baffle in and have a baffle in map and a baffle out map so if I take the bike on track, I can have a map optimised for the baffle in. Um, but yeah, happy with that. Sounds amazing. I love the induction roar. It's got a wheel. You can really hear it sucking <laughs> through the induction roar. Mavis loved it. She sounds beautiful, almost sounds as nice as me.
There we go, all installed, sounds mwah. What do you think to the sound of it? I'm really happy with that, sounds absolutely brilliant. I can't wait to ride it to hear that induction roar as well from the Rotti kit, bit of induction roar, bit of exhaust noise. Oh, can't wait to hear the thing. I must say a quick thank you to Dave Cornish of CRT Performance Parts. He's the UK distributor for Tecmo. So you can buy Tecmo stuff through him for your 690, for your 701, then you won't pay any import duties. He's also SM Project um, importer as well. And he's in discussions with Rottweiler to actually import the Rotti kits as well. So he, he's basically created your one-stop shop for all your 690-701 kit. Check out the links below if you're interested in any Tecmo stuff. Ask for Dave. Dave Cornish is the guy who runs it. And if you know anything about the Supermoto racing um, in the UK, you, you know Dave Cornish. He's been His son, Lewis, is uh, a champion, you know, massively into Supermoto racing. Absolutely spot on bloke. Thanks very much, Dave. One other thing to mention is if you buy the Tecmo header, you can get 50% off of the um, Rottweiler map. Rottweiler have made a map for the Tecmo system um, with the power commander. So just for the Tecmo header, I think the back box as well, that'll get you 50% off of Rottweiler's map. It says on here it's, it's making an extra eight brake horsepower with the exhaust changeover. So worth considering if you've bought the Tecmo header and you have a power commander. So there we go, guys. I think that is about it. Once again, the cockpit assistant gets pushed back to the next episode. I will install the cockpit assistant next time, but it's just the exhaust took quite a while. Once the cockpit assistant goes on, we can start almost bolting things back on again. As I mentioned, I want to get some SM Pro wheels. I'm, I'm still trying to decide what color I want to go for because they will use my existing hubs. Um, I can't have an anodized hub, so it's got to be a Cerakoted hub, but then I really want the black, the orange and black anodized fade around the outside. So it's what color goes with the orange and black fade. So any suggestions, let me know. I'm thinking maybe, uh, I don't know, like a titanium color or something, or maybe the old burnt bronze again, and then have some uh, laser etching, some custom LCR laser etching done onto it. Mm, that could be quite cool. But thanks for watching guys. I know we're in full lockdown again in the UK now. So, you, you know, this is a nightmare, isn't it? 2021, straight into full lockdown. Keep yourself sane. I'll keep producing these videos, you know, but um, just take care of yourselves, obey the rules, and we'll get through this. But uh, thanks for watching guys, really appreciate it. And I'll see you soon for episode five. Welcome fatties. Techno. 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 Cut down on the burgers, you fat. <laughs> <laughs>